Today, I am going to try my hand at organometallic synthesis and make copper phallocyanine. This chemical is an extremely intense blue color and widely used as a pigment under the name halo blue. To make it, I begin by adding 4 grams of phthalic anhydride along with 1.62 grams of urea to a mortar. Once those reagents are thoroughly crushed, I add 0.7 grams of copper 1 chloride and 0.03 grams of ammonium molybdate, which acts as a catalyst. These are all thoroughly crushed until completely homogeneous. This powder is then transferred to a test tube suspended over a Bunsen burner. This mixture is heated to above 200 C for at least 35 minutes in order to force the synthesis reaction. I am doing this in a tube for better visuals, but this reaction can also be done in solution or a microwave. Keep in mind during this step that high heat is your friend here. It is nearly impossible to overcook this mixture, but if the heat is not high enough or not sustained long enough, the synthesis will not take place. Anyway, as for the reaction itself, you will have noticed a white vapor around 100 C, which was simply water vapor. As the mixture approaches to 100 C, it will first become green before slowly turning blue. It will also foam up a good bit, so I would leave at least triple head space above the starting powder if you do this yourself. At this point, the mixture has reached the boiling point of phthalic anhydride, and a good deal of it begins to sublime. I used a glass stir rod to push it all back to the bottom and covered the tube with a watch glass to contain the phthalic anhydride. After 35 minutes or so, the mixture has become a deep blue glass-like solid. This indicates the reaction is complete so the heat is cut and it's allowed to cool. Once the mixture has cooled, I add a bunch of water and use a stir rod to break up the chunk of phallocyanine blue that's stuck to the bottom. The crude product is transferred to a Buckner funnel for a thorough washing. The mixture is first rinsed three times with water to remove any polar waste products. A fourth rinse is done with dilute sodium hydroxide. The fifth rinse is done using 10% hydrochloric acid, which is done to remove any unreacted copper chloride. This is followed by a final water rinse into acetone rinses until the filtrant runs clear. The filter paper containing my product was then moved to a watch glass to dry, and I also rinsed the Buckner funnel with acetone to get every bit out. After my Halo Blue spent a few hours under vacuum desiccation, I waited to get a final mass. It came out to 1.16 grams, which represents a 34% yield. This may sound bad, but it's average for this method. And here is my final copper phallocyanine pigment. These crystals are beautiful, but be careful because this will permanently stain everything. As a final demonstration of the pigment, I'm going to grind some of it up with a few drops of linseed oil. I'll get a muller soon, I promise. Most paints you buy from art supply stores contain a large amount of filler. The lower pigment concentration makes the color vivid right out of the tube, while the straight pigment I'm using here is so blue it appears nearly black on camera. I can make a light blue color by mixing in some titanium dioxide. This mixture is marketed as a pigment called Trulian. I hope you found this process interesting. As always, follow for more.